I still don't have rock pictures with my bridesmaids and oh when I see rock pictures with bride the bride and the bridesmaids on Instagram I yeah lurky get jealous but I'm just like well it is what it is you know hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tele and I'm a Nigerian youtuber based in London so welcome if you're here for the first time and hello to my current subscribers <laughs> you're very much welcome here so today I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I had known before planning my wedding so guys if this is something you're interested in let's jump right into the video so the first thing i'd like to point out is to delegate oh my gosh i mean like i had an event planner and i had a stylist shout out to the wardrobe manager i mean she's amazing i'm not being paid for this but the service was amazing i mean it's it's a like someone told me it's a luxury but <laughs> hey if you can afford it you should get a, a stylist and i would 100 percent recommend the wardrobe manager okay hi tosi if you're watching this yeah tosi is amazing and i mean i i didn't really have time we started doing all our bridal prep like a month in fact i did most of my fittings a month to the wedding because i was always so busy with work but she made sure that the entire process was seamless like i wasn't stressed that didn't stress me out okay so back to my point on delegation so um i'm somewhat of a control freak and when it came to bridesmaids i wanted to be on top of everything you know in i wanted to be in the know and all oh, but like i feel like that stressed me a bit because you can imagine me doing everything to coordinating the bridesmaids outfits ensuring that they had sent their measurements to the tailor and things like that and i just didn't i'm not a last minute person like i'm a planner okay so i just wanted everything to be done perfectly but the thing is there is nothing as a, a perfect wedding i don't believe that there's any such thing as a perfect wedding because there might be glitches here and there and things that you don't expect but yeah in order for you not to be stressed i think you should definitely delegate i mean okay let me just share this with you in like december two months to my wedding i posted on the group chat that <laughs> i wasn't gonna have bridesmaids again and i feel like if i had delegated things or you know assigned duties to people for someone to monitor the chat and ensure that people had paid i might not have been that stressed you know in december i told them that i wasn't gonna have bridesmaids because i was stressed but in hindsight if i had delegated the duty of like ensuring that bridesmaids were on top of everything to someone else then i probably wouldn't have been stressed this second point is something i would advise anyone and everyone guys like if you would if you want to take photos in the morning of your wedding please please and please ensure that you stay in the same hotel as your bridesmaids so my wedding was at 11 o'clock and according to the schedule the bridesmaids were meant to be at my hotel at i think 8 or 7 30 but the makeup artists were running late so even those who so those who had their makeup done couldn't leave the hotel and come to my hotel to take pictures with me they had to wait until everyone's makeup was over before coming to my hotel so <laughs> i still have no raw pictures today i mean like <laughs> i'm still trying to get over it it's been almost two years but i'll get over it i still don't have raw pictures with my bridesmaids and oh when i see raw pictures with bride the bride and the bridesmaids on instagram i yeah lurky get jealous but i'm just like well 
it is what it is you know so in hindsight i would have booked the same hotel as myself for all the bridesmaids just so that everyone you know is in the same place and if the makeup artists run late i mean some who have completed their makeup would have come to my room to take pictures and everything but yeah that's what i would strongly advise or you maybe have an afternoon wedding and then yeah even if the makeup artists run late they'll still be able to keep up with um taking photos with the schedule for the day the third point for me is to pick your battles yeah so just pick your battles pick like three things that are important to you it could be the cake it could be the music it could be the decor but yeah i mean and just ignore every other thing outside those three things i mean it's not possible to ignore but just leave it to the hands of your leave it in the hands of your um planner or people helping you because sis you're gonna be so stressed if you have to think about every single thing you're just gonna be so stressed so in order to avoid you being burnt out and stressed just pick a few things right that are very important to you and focus on those things the fourth point is to ignore every and anything that tries to stress you on that day i mean like there's no such thing as a perfect day right so there there might be some little glitches here and there like for me it was the fact that i couldn't take pictures of my bridesmaids in on in our robes that really upset me but um you know my one of my maids of honor said just tell just calm down <laughs> just calm down it's not their fault i mean when the bridesmaids came i was so upset in fact i didn't even want to see anyone i was just like yeah screw facing them but yeah at the end of the day it really wasn't their fault i mean there was really nothing anyone could have done at that point as the makeup artists were late you know but um yeah I, I i'm glad that eventually i decided to just let it go and yeah and not <laughs> become a bridezilla <laughs> uh, i don't even know if i was a bridezilla but yeah i mean i'm someone who likes to organize and plan and plan like plan things to the t so if something doesn't go as planned you know it's really upsetting but now in hindsight i'm just like hey <laughs> whatever will be will be okay because i feel like so much emphasis is placed on the wedding day right the most important thing is the marriage yeah the wedding day is, is nice to have like the wedding of your dreams and i'm someone who like who has always dreamt about oh her wedding this and that so yeah that's why it seemed like he was a big deal to me but yeah i mean the, it's it's nice to have like a nice wedding and to have like nice clothes to wear and your hair is all done nicely your makeup is on point it's paying but the more important thing is the marriage okay so you can always have a vow renewal or you can always you know plan your honeymoon however you want to plan it there's no parental interference there's nothing you know you just do you the fifth point is that some of all these details that you're worrying about in about a year from now or two years you wouldn't remember because i don't like now in hindsight i don't remember every single detail like i kid you not i don't remember oh what this person said or that person said yes you know while planning your wedding you might have disagreements here and there with bridesmaids but yeah someone was just having a, i was just having a conversation with my friend like a few weeks back and she was like oh do you remember that this person that you had a disagreement with you know took pictures with you was dancing with you on that day the person really carried a hand fan i was funny and i was like oh <laughs> do you know i don't even remember so like yeah don't sweat the small stuff just pray commit everything to god's hand and 
yeah it will be a glorious day so yeah if you're a planner like me or someone who like overthinks things or someone who just likes their things to be a certain way you might just have to relax okay just relax relax a bit and yeah just trust that the people that you've delegated stuff to actually know what they're doing and they'll execute the plans perfectly on that day so yeah i mean if if someone had told me all these things i'm sure i wouldn't have been so stressed and i'm sure i would have gotten my road pictures yeah i'm sure you can tell that <laughs> the road pictures yeah really they're really, they're really hurting me Shad. Deep, deep down low key but yeah i mean what does it profit a man to have rope pictures and at the end of the day not have a happy marriage okay i'm not saying that rope pictures are not important so yeah so guys let me know if you enjoyed this video if you've got any other comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below let's chat let's have a conversation guys okay all right guys so i'll see you in my next video guys bye